Have you ever felt alone in a room full of people? Do you feel as if nobody truly understands you? Do you feel empty, lost, hopeless or worthless? Does your anxiety stop you from doing things you want to do in your life? Are you depressed and don't know who to turn to for help or guidance? Are you currently struggling with your mental health? You never have to feel alone again. We understand you. We feel exactly like you do and we are here to support you. Share your story, connect with like-minded people, learn more about mental illnesses and how you can improve your mental health. Together, we can make a difference and together, we can reduce the stigma. Welcome to Authentic Mental Health. Many of us have been through or experienced a traumatic event in our lives that has affected us emotionally. Even if the traumatic event or experience didn't happen directly to you, hearing it, seeing it or witnessing it can sometimes be enough to have a major impact on you and your life. For some of us, as time passes, the fear and the anxiety from the event will fade away and eventually disappear altogether. But if the fear, anxiety, insomnia or flashbacks don't disappear with time, you might be suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder, also known as PTSD. PTSD can be caused by a number of different things happening to you or in your life, such as accidents, war, conflict, threat to life and crimes. PTSD causes people to relive the traumatic event that has happened. They may experience nightmares, flashbacks or random thoughts of the event that seem to come out of nowhere. People with PTSD often avoid things that remind them of the event or what happened. For example, if somebody had a car accident and was hurt or saw something terrible happen, they may avoid driving altogether. PTSD can make people feel on edge all of the time and very nervous. They may even feel and be easily startled have a difficult time concentrating, feel extremely irritable and have trouble sleeping. They may also constantly feel and think like something bad or terrible is going to happen to them, even if they are in a safe place or a safe environment. PTSD can make people feel like things around them aren't real, feel like they are disconnected from their mind and body and even have a hard time feeling their own emotions. Having PTSD can also increase your risk of other mental health problems too, such as questioning your own life, issues with addiction, eating disorders, depression and anxiety. Unfortunately, there are some jobs that put people in very dangerous and difficult situations to deal with such as serving in the military, police officers, firefighters, paramedics, doctors and nurses. People in those professions experience much higher rates of PTSD than any other jobs combined. Post-traumatic stress disorder symptoms may start within one month after the traumatic event has happened, but sometimes symptoms of PTSD may not appear until years after. These symptoms of PTSD cause significant problems in social or work situations and in relationships too. They can also interfere with your ability to go about your normal daily tasks. Here are 21 symptoms of PTSD broken down into four types. Intrusive memories, avoidance, negative changes in thinking and mood, and changes in physical and emotional reactions. Symptoms of PTSD may vary from person to person, and not all of these symptoms may occur to somebody who has PTSD. 
Symptoms of intrusive memories may include recurrent, unwanted, distressing memories of the traumatic event, reliving the traumatic event as if it was happening again. This is also known as flashbacks, upsetting dreams or nightmares about the traumatic event, severe emotional distress or physical reactions to something that reminds you of the traumatic event. Symptoms of avoidance may include trying to avoid thinking or talking about the traumatic event, avoiding places, activities or people that remind you of the traumatic event. Symptoms of negative changes in thinking and mood may include negative thoughts about yourself, other people or the world, feeling hopeless about the future, memory problems, difficulty maintaining close relationships, feeling detached from family and friends, loss of interest in activities you once enjoyed doing, difficulty experiencing positive emotions, feeling emotionally numb. Symptoms of changes in physical and emotional reactions may include being easily startled or frightened, always being on guard for danger, self-destructive behavior, trouble sleeping, trouble concentrating, irritability or angry outbursts, overwhelming guilt or shame. If after watching this video, you think and feel like you have post-traumatic stress disorder, please speak to a doctor or a mental health professional immediately so you can be diagnosed properly and begin to get the help you need and deserve. If you need to speak to someone immediately, I would highly recommend you click the link in the description box down below where you can speak to someone right away, be diagnosed and get the help you need and deserve to get your life back on track. The link is in the description box down below. Please do not self-diagnose yourself from this video. Always seek professional help. I now want to hear from you guys and girls at home. Have you ever been diagnosed with PTSD before or have you ever witnessed or been involved in a traumatic event that has happened to you or somebody else? What symptoms do you experience and how does it affect your life? Please let me and others know in the comments section down below and let's show others they are not alone. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving this video a like. If you're new here, please subscribe to Authentic Mental Health to join a community of like-minded people just like you. Take care guys and girls, and I'll see you all again in another video.